Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. You all must say a prayer for Guyana. Say a prayer for Guyana. Now, when you hear of the border dispute between Guyana and Venezuela, uh, you're thinking about the entire country. I'm not thinking about the entire country. I'm thinking about the Essequibo. Uh, now, Guyana has three counties. Essequibo, Demerara, and Borbis. The reason why I say I'm thinking about the Essequibo is because there's a big hype about Venezuela taking over that region. It's not the landmass I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the people. Listen, uh, the people in that area, they are anxious. Yeah, they're anxious. Some of them had to close down business. A relative of mine, I have relatives in the area. Uh, but the thing about it is that there's talk, talk, yappity, yappity, yap. But the truth about the matter is that the people who live on the border, they have relatives both sides, in Guyana and in Venezuela. So it's not a simple solution as to how this would be settled. What is happening is that on a day by day basis. There is movement between the two countries. There is trade and relatives are disturbed. Yeah, relatives are disturbed. So when I say, say a prayer for Guyana, I'm actually saying say a prayer for those individuals who live in that region who are not concerned about world politics. It's affecting them seriously. Now, some families are displaced because they don't know what tomorrow holds. You know what it is to get up every morning and you hear this propaganda in your head about Venezuela wanting to take over two thirds of Guyana and that two thirds you live in? Hey, it's stressful. So say a prayer for them. And some of you who know some of those persons personally, call them and give a word of encouragement. The psalm I used this morning uh, is Psalm 61, uh, which has hope. It says, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Uh, the enemy for some of the people living in Essequibo right now is not really Venezuela. The enemy is those individuals who are spreading the propaganda, whether it's true or false. But day by day, these people who live there in these bordering villages, uh, who have relatives both sides, they get up anxious, stressed out, know not where to earn the daily bread. So say a prayer for them. And remember that on the face of this earth, we are all related. All the tribes on earth are connected. So what is their problem is our problem also. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help those individuals who are living in the Essequibo region of Guyana. Help them to still be able to lift their eyes up towards heaven from whence cometh their help. Grant them hope. Grant them joy, I pray. And grant them peace of mind and less stress as they go through the day. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you as you go through the day.